Hi, and welcome to John's Maths Book. In this video, I'm going to be looking at finding the area of a segment in a circle. If you like the video, then please hit the like button, and I'd be delighted and honored if you'd subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go to the whiteboard. Let's look at the area of a segment in a circle. So first, what is a segment in a circle? To create a segment, we first draw a sector within a circle. So that's when we start at the center of the circle, and extend two lines, which represent radii, until they intersect with the circle. The blue shaded region here is a sector. The sector creates an angle, in this case 110 degrees, and represents a portion or fraction of the area of a circle. Now, if we draw a chord between the two points where the radii intersect the circle, the area created is called a segment, shown here as the blue shaded region. To find the area of a segment, we need to subtract the area of the red triangle from the area of the sector. So let's see how we approach this task. The first step is to find the area of the sector. I'll post a link of a video I created which explains how to do this in the comments and description. As a recap, the area of a sector of a circle is a portion or fraction of the area of a circle based on the angle it creates. In this case, the angle a sector creates is 110 degrees, so the fraction created is 110 divided by 360, as 360 is the angle of a complete circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared, where the radius r in this case is 2. So the sector area is given by 110 divided by 360 multiplied by pi r squared. So if we plug in the value for r and square it, we get 4, and divide numerator and denominator by 10, we get 11 divided by 36, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 4. Dividing numerator and denominator by 4, we get 11 pi divided by 9. And this then is the area of the sector shaded in blue, shown in circle 1. Now we need to find the area of the red triangle and subtract it from the area of the sector. There are two ways of doing this. The first is to divide the triangle in two by creating a perpendicular and therefore 90 degree triangle. This will divide the angle of 110 degrees in two to give an angle of 55 degrees. We can calculate the third angle of this triangle as we know the other two and the angles of the triangle total 180 degrees. This gives the third angle as 35 degrees. We now want to find the base and height of the triangle so we can calculate its area using one half multiplied by the base and then multiplied by the height. If we look at the angle of 35 degrees, we can see the base is opposite this angle. If we use our old friend Soa Ka Toa, we have the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse is equal to the sine of 35 degrees. So the opposite side is the base, and the hypotenuse in this triangle we know has a value of 2, and therefore that is all equal to the sine of 35 degrees. So the base is 2 multiplied by the sine of 35 degrees, so the base is 1.14715. So now to find the height, if we use the angle of 55 degrees, we can see the height represents the side opposite the angle of 55 degrees. So using our old friend Soa Ka Toa, the opposite side over the hypotenuse side is equal to the sine of 55 degrees. So the opposite side is the height, the hypotenuse has a value of 2, and that all equals the sine of 55 degrees. So the height is equal to 2 times the sine of 55 degrees, so the height is equal to 1.6383. So now if we plug these values for base and height into our area formula for a triangle, and then we need to remember we need to multiply whatever we get by 2, because we divided the triangle in 2, so we now have to multiply it by 2 to get the total area of the red shaded region, we get a total area of 1.8793. The second way to find the area of the red shaded region is to use the formula 1 half multiplied by A multiplied by B multiplied by sine C, where we know 
two sides, A and B, and the included angle C. So we know that the two sides have length of two, and the included angle is 110. So we have one half times two times two multiplied by sine of 110, which gives us a, an area of 1.8793. So now we've found the area of the triangle indicated by the red shaded area in circle two. That's all we need to do is subtract this value from the area we found in circle one, which was 11 pi divided by nine. This will then give us the area of the segment indicated by circle three. So our computation is 11 pi divided by nine, which is the area of the sector, minus 1.8793, which is the area of the red triangle shown in circle two. And this gives us a value of 1.9604, which is the area of the segment shown in circle three.